Hey everybody, it's Susan, and as you can probably tell, I finally found my YouTube light, which I am super excited because now I'm actually lit up, so that's a definite plus. Not only do I have my Stitch Fix box, but I also did some shopping, and I am super excited about this. Uh, Stitch Fix actually gave me about $100 credit randomly last year. And not only that, they also gave me $20 credit, and I think that went to a lot of people who already had the subscription for a while. But anyways, they gave an extra $20 credit on top of it, and then that was only going to last for a couple weeks. So I was just like, oh my gosh, um, well, my fix isn't coming before the expiration date, so I guess I'll try out the shopping, see if I like what I got. So we'll probably start with this, but before we do that, uh, I actually bought these Kate Spade earrings. Here, let me take this off. I actually saw this in a Stitch Fix box that I originally had, but I just didn't have money at the time to get it. And I couldn't pass it up. My mind just kept on going back to it. So I found it on Poshmark for about half the price. And yeah, totally stoked to have found it. I love the colors in it. It's so peppy. Totally my thing, so... Okay, okay, back to Stitch Fix. This seems a little bit small for what I ordered, though. I ordered leggings and a skirt, so I don't know if this is only one of the pieces or both in here. Looks to be just the leggings, which is making me wonder where the skirt is. Well, I do want to point out that they do make a shipping label for returns just in case if you aren't satisfied with it. Since I have my stitch fix here also, I might just message customer service if I don't like my item and see if I can just put it in the fix. It might technically be a separate thing though. Let's unveil these leggings. Ooh, yes, yes. Okay, they are actually metallic like I was hoping. Look at this. So pretty. These have a nice athletic leisure feel to them. They were pretty expensive. I think they were like $68. Oh, there's upholstering on the inside. I haven't seen that in leggings before. That's very interesting. If you're curious about this item, this is MPG. It's 87% polyester and 13% spandex. Marble look is super cute. Cute, 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 cute. I'm excited to try these on. And here's a little bit more details about when you go to shop and let's say that you don't like it because realistically that does happen in, with our fixes. We don't like things, even things that we think that we would like because based off pictures, sometimes they're not what they look like or they just don't feel the way that we were imagining. So this is what the card says that they gave. It says, thanks for your purchase. We think it's going to look amazing. Next, give feedback on your new item. We'll learn about you and your style. Simply go to stitchfix.com forward slash style or download the Stitch Fix app. Need to make a return? Use either the label included with your order or prepaid envelope provided with any fix to return pieces within 30 days of purchase. Aha! So you couldn't put it in a fix. That is really convenient and makes that really easy. Oh, cool. I will try those on. Uh, it may or may not go with whatever's in the fix. So we'll just see what happens. The other item that I ordered, hmm, do I tell you or do I not tell you? Well, what I will tell you is it was from a previous fix and it was from the fix that I really loved during my birthday. So whenever it does come in, I'll let you see it then. Here is the box. The box is rather huge this time. Um, again, they did the thing where there's white Stitch Fix tape like they usually do, and then there's also clear tape on it. It almost looks like it totally missed the edge of it, which I find weird. Actually, it almost looks, almost looks like crumpled tape. I don't know what's going on with these lately. I'm just, a little bit weirded out about that. Maybe they're not technically allowed to put tape on the ceiling spots because you know how USPS usually wants people to use clear tape only? I wonder if it has something to do with that, but that's just a guess. If I see this again for like the third time, I'm going to say it's probably that USPS rule. So anyways. <laughs> Where's an easy, like, open edge? 
edge. Hello, Stitch Fix. We're just not gonna braid the tape. We're just gonna go around the tape. There we go. Okay. Oh, that was a lot more work than I was anticipating. Just something interesting. It's not lined anymore with the white and blue. Now it's a boring old box. That's really disappointing. Why would they take a step back? Whoa, this is different too. This is in the long envelope. And it's, it's a plain envelope. It doesn't have the Stitch Fix text on it. This is a little weird. Well, let's see if everything's in here. I mean, it looks like there's a ton of stuff in here. We have our shipping label. We have our note. We have our prices. Here's what the inside looks like. Kind of a, a little roughed up looking. Here's a peek of the items. We got some good colors in there, so uh, that's positive. That's good to see. And then we have something really big. Oh, this looks like a coat or a jacket or, or something. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and read the note. And it says, hello, Susan, happy fix day and happy new year. I'm really excited to be styling you again. And I can't wait for you to see everything I picked out for you today. First, I got you a new coat. It's super cold in Arkansas right now. And I figured a heavy outer layer like this one would be useful. Arkansas? No, Alaska. It's okay, it's okay, moving on. It's made of a super warm wool blend fabrication with faux fur on the hood, which is removable in case you're not a fan of fur lining on coats. That beige color goes with anything too. Also, I thought you would love the red and black Sarai pipe blouse from Calvin Klein suit separates as a result of its Asian inspired design and color palette. I really hope you find a couple pieces in here you fall in love with, and I can't wait to hear back on how you liked everything. Warmly, your stylist, Eli. Arkansas, huh? Um, well, is it cold in Arkansas? Anybody uh, in my feed that actually is from Arkansas, is it cold there? Let's just open up the stuff and see what I got. Hmm. This is interesting. This is the red top. They said it was Asian inspired. I don't really see what's Asian inspired about it. Is it the red that they're thinking of? I mean, I kind of like the flutter sleeve. This is cute right here, but hmm. I don't know how to feel about this one. Let's move on. Okay, this is a floral top. I am into florals. That's pretty cute. I could see myself enjoying that. It feels pretty soft. Um, It's really thin though. The back of it is blue which is a cute color. It's very nice, very nice. It's very thin also. Like the whole entire shirt is really thin. This one I feel like has potential, but I'm a little concerned on the quality of the fabric. We'll see on that one too. Ooh, a Daniel ring. I love Daniel ring. This one's cute. I like the colors in this one. See, this one feels more, more Asian inspired to me than the red one. Are they talking about the Daniel ring? No, it says red and black Calvin Klein suit separates. Asian inspired design and color palette. Okay, so I think they're mainly just going for the color on it. Oh well. I think this one's cute. This one has a lot more potential for me. Ooh, it even has like a ridge in the back. Like look at these ridges. That's way cute. I like that. Oh, it's on the shoulder also. Cute. Is there a button? Doesn't look like there's actually a button there. This is just stitching. There's a rough edge. That's interesting. See that rough edge? Must be part of the styling. Cute. That one's got some good potential on it. Ooh, this one's in a plastic buggy. Hmm. Look at this. It almost looks like it was ordered and then they forgot to remove it from the bag. But then there's like a cut slit in the bag. See, you see that cut slip? This is just really strange. Maybe this is actually to help protect the sweater though. There's just so many things that are kind of different during this fix. I don't know what to think about it. Ooh, this texture. 
I'm not quite sure how I feel about the colors. I actually like each of these colors, but together I'm not sure how I feel. But I want you to notice this fabric. It's a mesh, which I think is actually kind of interesting for a sweater. This is definitely not something I would wear outside here in Alaska. Uh, this would not be very forgiving, especially when it's windy, because then it's gonna go through that mesh and you're gonna be chilled out of your life. Not a good idea. But inside, this might be really cozy. Very thin though. Again, another concern on quality of fabric. But I want you to take a moment to look at the sleeve here. It's got like a mix of mesh and like a piping. It almost brings me back to my teenager times with wearing those fishnet gloves. Anybody there as a teenager that used to wear those? I loved them as a teen when I was like 12 or 13-ish. Makes me think of that just a itty bitty little bit. Oh yeah, we have the, where are you at? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? We have the coat or jacket or, or whatever this is. Man, this is heavy. Ooh, it's even heavier when it's unrolled. It's very interesting. Ooh, this is soft. This faux fur, that's very soft. Got some pockets. Oh, what's in here? Oh, yum, silica gel. Now, do these like snap open at all? No, it looks like you have to treat it like a real belt. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. That would wear out over time. At least, in my opinion, a belt's not gonna be very durable. Snap button, yes. And a zipper. Okay, okay, interesting. Well, I definitely feel like this would be warm. I am not gonna deny that one bit. I am concerned about the belts on this coat though, uh, just because of the overall durability, them getting roughed up, having to undo it, put it back on every time that you want your coat to actually look cute. Personally, as a critic or whatever you wanna call it, I think that it would be better if they were like, sure, it looks like you have a belt on, but maybe have an end be like a snap button, like a hidden snap, and then you could just pop that off. And then it still would have the cute belt look, but would be a lot more functional and wouldn't wear out as quickly. So this one already I'm not too crazy about because I probably would have to save this for a party. And the outside of this feels really rough. Almost, I wouldn't quite say a potato sack, but pretty close. It's not comfortable if you're like, husband or boyfriend is sidling up to you and they, they feel this, they're gonna go, babe. I just, mm, mm, mm. Okay, that does it for the entire box, plus what I ordered, at least one of the items. I think I'm gonna do this coat with this shirt and probably do everything else with some other item that's outside of Stitch Fix. Like this, I think I'm just gonna wear with, actually these black pants are from Stitch Fix that I'm currently wearing. So maybe that black shirt with these black pants. This, I feel like also needs to go with the black pants. Along with this. Yep, I'm just gonna have to wear pretty much everything separate of each other besides the coat and this Daniel ring. So, with that said, I'll be right back. So what you're seeing right now is not me standing. I'm actually knees up on a stool. I don't have the footstool like I used to back at my parents' place. So uh, excuse me if I have to like, <laughs> but this is the jacket overall. If I'm totally honest, it makes my neck itch like really badly. I'm a little worried that I'm gonna be red underneath. Uh, yeah, see? Makes me itchy. All right, let's open this up. I just, I don't like how careful I feel like I need to be to be able to get these belts undone. The inside lining is really nice. Uh, overall, we haven't been seeing that with Stitch Fix stuff. This is maybe a really expensive coat, but since it's faux wool and faux fur, probably not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, I think I forgot to put on the hood. I mean, the hood's cute. I like the hood. I'm really digging this Daniel Rain top. I think it's really cute. I love the print. Um, I don't like that there is no button here. It feels kind of 
again unfinished kind of like that last top and this end likes to really flop out and so you kind of have to like like it back in or wear a camisole under it so it's a little bit more comfortable but that's just my personal opinion the ruffle edge is really cute though I love that detail. Overall, I feel like the sleeves are loose enough that my chunky arms are okay, but not so loose that it has an unflattering flap like that other shirt did. So that's a definite plus. Here's the back of the shirt. I can't really see it, so I'm going to take your word for it if it looks good or not. On the stool, this is a bit more of the overall look. I feel like the colors are really complementary to like my skin tone. And overall, I just like florals and how these colors all go together. The flowers are actually detailed and has like the, uh, the vein-like structure in the petals, which I think is really nice. The leaves also have that too. It feels like a, a complete shirt. It doesn't feel plain and like barely done, if you know what I mean. Here is the Calvin and Klein shirt. This one is rather comfortable and I always appreciate that. However, I don't appreciate that I look like I'm working at some kind of store like Target or the movie theater. I don't know. Something about it doesn't really speak to me. It doesn't feel fancy, at least to me personally. I do enjoy the ruffles. I'm not sure if I already said that, but that's, that's kind of the main thing I enjoy about it. Here's the back. The back feels relatively plain, so I imagine there's really not very much to look at there. I don't know. It just doesn't say much to me at all. Okay, here is the next item. This is the sweater that I was talking about that has the mesh, as you can see, and also the piping. It actually looks a lot cuter when worn than looking at it like on its own, which I find pretty relieving. And then at the same time, I'm kind of like, oh no, this means I'm going to have to spend some money possibly. But the thing I'm half half on is the band being solid. But at the same time, I gotta be honest and say that I appreciate that the band is solid near the breast area because then it's actually hiding things that need to be hidden, making it a work appropriate shirt. Uh, you could also wear a camisole underneath it. But personally, I don't like it when you wear a camisole. And you can see half of the camisole underneath something. You know what I'm saying? Where it like kind of cuts off and everybody knows you're wearing a camisole. That's not my deal. But overall, I really like the feel of the sweater. It is rather thin though, which means that you have need to wear like a thick bra or something. So it's not showing things that need not be shown, which is why I'm kind of hiding it as best as I can with my hands. The back is also consistent, which I appreciate. It seems like a lot of these different sweaters and shirts, they uh, they like to skimp on fabric and they add a plain back. And I think it's to help save money when they're trying to look edgy at the same time. So I just appreciate consistency. Here is the floral top, which overall, I feel like it looks pretty cute. And I do like this heather gray white to black look which is really nice. Has a very comfortable slick feel here. This one is another like slick, but more, uh, almost like a cheaper fabric, I hesitate to say. Uh, it crinkles really easily and looks kind of unflattering in that way. The other part is that it kind of, <laughs> um, one sec. The other part of this is that it does kind of create a bubble thing at the bottom, which I don't really like because this is the part that like looks best on me. So I usually like to try to make this look thin. Um, overall, this shirt doesn't really accomplish that very well. I feel like I want to pull it down, but then with my curves and whatnot over time from like doing this, doing that, obviously it wears right back into place. So I don't know. I'm not too crazy about this one. I worry how well it's gonna be in the wash, whether or not it's just gonna be a mess or it's gonna die within a few washes. So, I don't know guys, I don't know about this one. Back is very comfortable though. It does have that simple fabric that I was talking about. And I think, I think it's the same fabric as the front. No, I think it might be different. It feels more spandex. This has a lot more pull to it than the front does. The pull has no pull at all. So there's like 
three different fabrics here in total. The last item is these leggings, which I feel like is going to be really hard to show. So let me think of how I'm going to do this instead. Maybe this will work, maybe this won't work. At least you can see my legs. Uh, this is what it looks like. And overall, I feel like it fits really good. That little bungee cord that's in it, I think is actually to help when, uh, like if you have a wider middle, it helps a company for that, depending on whatever would best fit you, which I actually kind of appreciate. Um, whether or not I feel like it's necessary for me is kind of, eh. But when you're wearing leggings, like do you even need the extra bungee cord? Because leggings are already really forgiving as is. So I don't really know how to feel about it because it almost feels excessive. But overall, these leggings feel really good quality. Um, they do have a very metallic film on it, which actually makes me worry a little bit that it might flake off over time. Hmm. Don't know how to feel about that. I'll be right back. I should probably make a booty check to see if this is actually see-through. You know how white is on things, especially if you're wearing like black underwear or anything like that. It's always good to keep that in mind, so one second. Yep, as I thought, it actually does show your underwear in the back. I'm wearing something that's white even, and you can see that there is underwear. It's like very obvious. And there's also black flowers on it, and you can tell the difference. So that's not good. These are obviously going to be returned because I'm not going to fly with that. They are cute though. I will say that they are cute. Hi again, I am back. I decided to get back into this sweater. It's actually really cozy. It reminds me of a color black cardigan I used to have that I bought locally. And something about it just feels really familiar. I am pretty worried how well it would wash though, just because it has this mesh like a uh, fabric to it. So it's something that I'm thinking about. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. But that aside, we should probably look at the prices first before I even say that I'm considering it. Okay, so the first item we're gonna look at is the Daniel Rain Bernal Split Neck Bloss in Blue. That is this one right here. This one is $64. So this one is about as much as those leggings that I am gonna be returning. So that's something to think about. This one's really cute and I feel like it has good potential. I think it would be like at the top next level if it just had that option for the button right here. Though I don't appreciate how thin and unfinished this feels. It's pretty easy to look up how to sew a button and I could easily do it. So, I don't know. The next item is the Calvin Klein Suit Separate Stripe Height Blast in Red. That is this one here. This one, I'm just... So disappointed in this one is $59 yeah I wouldn't even consider this one the only time that I would consider getting this blouse in particular is if it felt flirty like cute and young and peppy it just didn't give me any of that it just it is a work blouse and it it feels like work blouse next item is the coffee shop Emily's wool coat in beige that's this one here it's so big, so big. This is $98. Um, honestly, I could just buy a puffer coat. That's pretty typical here in Alaska. And it won't make my neck itch like this does. I also don't appreciate the belts like we talked about earlier, how they would just realistically wear out over time. Especially if you're going to wear this very often, kind of like how I would have to with all the cold weather that we have here. I mean, honestly, it's cold here about eight months of the year and so I'm going to be wearing this coat all the time if I buy it. So it's just not realistic for me. Next item is the Cut from the Cloth Mentor Mix Material in Blue. This one here, which again I thought this one was pretty cute but it just it feels kind of cheap. This one is $60. Guys, it just doesn't feel worth it to me. Not even close. This would be like a $34 shirt in my eyes. I just, no. The last item is the Mark and Spruce Rowan Textured Cotton da 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 dot. That one is... Oh, oh, that's the one I'm wearing. So this one is $58. What do you think of it, guys? 
Do you like it on me? It's pretty cozy. Oh, and uh, some of you might be wondering if I wound up buying that other sweater from the last fix, that, uh, that wintry looking one that was gray and white. In the end, I chose to not get it because I didn't like how thin it was. And it just, I didn't like how you could see it through the pants so easily, like all the ripple texture of your pants. It's like, hey, look at that. You know, I don't, I don't appreciate that look. I like looking complete. Um, even if I'm overweight, I prefer to look like I have a nice uniform look and not like I'm bulging anywhere. So that one I had to let go. I was pretty sad about it though because I really liked the print, especially at the bust. It was just so pretty and I liked the hood. There was just so many good things about it. I just wish it was made out of a thicker material so that it would be able to accompany the rest of my body better. With that said, it's time to ditch some things that I personally just don't think would work for me. First, I'm going to say it's the least item of my face, which was this one. It just wasn't cute at all to me. Did nothing for me in the slightest bit. Has to go. Goodbye shirt. I just think you're probably meant for somebody else. Definitely not me. So, see ya. Oof, this coat. Again, you guys already know why. Makes me itch. Don't like itch. Itch is no good. Belts are no good. It's not gonna be a long lasting coat in my eyes. Why do people wear coats like this anyways when they're itchy like that? Do you guys wear like turtlenecks or something so then it doesn't scratch at your neck? Or maybe it just doesn't bother you? So with that, goodbye. Oh, please fit. You have to fit. I'm not keeping you. Fit. Fit. Please. Big poof. Such a big poof. Okay, okay. Next item I'm letting go is this long sleeve. Realistically, I do generally like the look of it, but it doesn't feel like it's worth the amount that they are listing it for. So with this, I'm going to say goodbye. Cool. Next is these leggings. I am bummed out to let these go because I think they are really, really, really cute. Um, I've heard of some people having success wearing these things if they have a thong and then it's way less noticeable, but I don't wear thongs. Thongs just aren't my thing, so. So sorry, but you need to go. The remaining question is, do I keep this sweater? Do I keep this shirt? What do you guys think? And the remaining question is, do I keep this sweater? Do I keep this shirt? What do you think? And of course, as always, I'm open to hearing what you guys think about the other items, whether or not you think that they did look good, or maybe something I could have done different with them. Totally open to that. So just go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, and with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me open my, what number six is this? Number 41. Thank you for, for watching my 41st fix. I really look forward to showing you guys that skirt I got uh, in the future. I know that one is a good skirt that I love, so I am excited about that. Hopefully it doesn't have any snags or something in it, and then I have to reject it because I really don't want to. It's so cute. At least I think it looks cute on me, so really looking forward to that. And besides that, uh, I'm planning to make a video about the body shop here soon. I actually just got my starter kit from them. So I'll be opening that up and you guys can see what's in there. And yeah, we'll go from there. So I hope you all had a great day today and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh, and last, last, last thing that I forgot to mention in the video while I was recording a moment ago. Uh, let me know if you guys had a fix recently and whether or not it looked kind of weird like mine did. It just felt really unfinished and I'm honestly a little worried about where Stitch Fix is going. Like, can they not afford the stuff that they are usually doing or at least what they used to do and why they stopped doing it if there is a certain reason or maybe it's a fluke. But anyways, with that said, I love you guys and I'll see you all next time. Good news, my last Stitch Fix item came in and it is this adorable skirt. So the thing I really like about this skirt is obviously it's got roses all over it and I just think it's cute, it's subtle, 
It's playful at the same time, a little bit flirty, but also business-like. And I just think it suits all things all together. The other thing about it that I love is that I finally have something to wear my Photo One Hawthorne shirt with. Remember this one? This is that four-way one that can be black or polka dot. So I'm excited to finally have something that I can wear it with. I do need your help with something though. You see, I think this would look really cute on a date with my husband, but I'm having a really hard time picking what cardigan I should wear with it. So I'm gonna show you a few colors and let me know in the comments which one you think looks best. I have this mixed red one by 41 Hawthorne. Tons of pockets. This was also from Stitch Fix. There's also this gray pixely sweater that I really love. It's super cozy. This one I also got from Stitch Fix way back. It was like one of my first few fixes. There's the back, by the way. This is a cabbie sweater that I got from the cabbie party a really long time ago. It's actually one of the first few pieces that I got. I think it's called the circle sweater if I remember right. And this one I'm like half half on. I feel like it's too much white, but I'm not really sure. And then this last one is a GNW sweater with some fringe. This one I feel like it's too much black, but I really like what it does with my curves naturally. And I just, I don't know. So that's why I'm asking you guys for help because I feel so like half half. I'm thinking maybe the gray, but I don't know. So let me know please. And with that, yet again, Thank you so much for watching and for enjoying my Stitch Fix and me trying out some stuff from the shop for the first time. Well, actually this I got from a fix beforehand and I loved it, just didn't have money for it at the time. I'm super stoked I have it now. But anyways, let me know what you guys think and I love you and I'll see you all next time.